Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the better channel, which is the build 22635.4950. In this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and what is fixed in this latest better channel build for version 23H2, which has a few new interesting features that are officially announced by Microsoft. And of course, we're going to cover all that in this video. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, Microsoft is announcing officially the new feature that will make sharing files in Windows a lot easier with the new drag tray feature. So what that means, basically, if you drag a file from File Explorer or from the desktop, you'll get this new drag tray up top, which you can hover over and you're going to have options to share to your phone, snipping tool, paint, Outlook, mail, and other apps as well. And also, if you drop the file above more, share window will appear. And here you're going to have all the options to share directly to an app to an email use nearby sharing or share to your phone this new feature has nice animations it's pretty smooth and it will help you share files faster to your phone for example or if you want to quickly edit an image with paint just drag it over paint and it should open it in paint also in the start menu microsoft is working on the all apps list or section where you're going to have multiple options for example the name grid which will basically categorize your apps alphabetically and also the category grid which will include apps sorted by by categories for example productivity utilities and other categories as well and of course if you click on a certain category you can expand it and it can contain multiple apps for example productivity will contain all these apps utilities and tools these apps and so on so I think this is pretty interesting for my personal liking I would like this animation to be a little bit faster but overall I think Microsoft has done a pretty good job in implementing this and also the name grid section is pretty good and it has all the animations rounded corners all the things to make it match the Windows 11 design principles. My personal opinion, I like the category view better. I think this is the way to go if you want to use the OLAP section more. You also have some fixes in this build, for example, related to the file explorer. This update includes an increased support for the text scaling option that you can encounter inside the settings app, accessibility and then text size, across file open, save dialogues, and also wizard dialogues in the file explorer. And they also fix an issue where file explorer home might not load correctly and just show random floating text saying name. Related to the taskbar, Microsoft fixed an issue with the taskbar app window previews where the corners of the flyout weren't drawn with the correct radius in certain cases. Also related to the settings app, Microsoft fixed an issue for Japanese users where the name displayed at the top of settings and then accounts showed first name, last name instead of the expected last name, first name format. There are also three new known issues in this build related to the OLAP section and also related to the name grid and also category views. There is sometimes a delay in app icons showing in grid and category views after installing an app. When right-clicking on an app, the start setting context menu flashes before the app's context menu appears, and you can check that out if you want. These are known issues, as I've said, that will be fixed in a future build. And also, Windows Tools-related apps are broken out into folders instead of being in one single app. There are also a few additional known issues, but those aren't new. You can check those out on the official Microsoft blog post. So basically, this is the latest update for the better channel with the introduction of the new drag tray and also the new options in the all app section in the start menu along side with the fixes and the new known issues that are documented in this build. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was your man from TechBase. Until next time, I wish you all a nice day.